I'm Ashley Grossman. I'm Professor of Endocrinology at the University of Oxford in the UK, and I head that department up. And I'm Gordon Weir. I work at the Jocelyn Diabetes Center in uh, Boston, an institution completely devoted to diabetes, and I'm a senior investigator and also a clinician. I came into endocrinology rather indirectly. I'd done earlier degrees in psychology and anthropology and came into medicine because basically I wanted to be, first of all, a psychiatrist. I saw that was a rather bad thing to do, so I thought I would concentrate on the brain and neurology. And then indirectly I was going to do neuroendocrinology. So I started doing neuroendocrinology and endocrinology back at the late 70s, early 80s and it just became so interesting, I never left it. I got interested in diabetes in second year in medical school. I had a very uh, charismatic uh, teacher, and I said, this is an interesting disease, and it causes a lot of trouble. And I just kept uh, working with it and, uh, you know, stuck with it. I. Uh, look after the adrenal section in endocrinology and I think one of the most interesting and the most life-changing aspects in the adrenal is that a lot of patients with what appear to be sporadic adrenal tumours are now known to have genetic germline mutations. That means that has influences both on the mm -hmm. fact of what you're going to do with that individual patient and implications for the whole family. And it also means that we're beginning to understand at the molecular level what goes wrong. So increasingly, we're beginning to at least consider molecular targeted therapy. So I think this is a very exciting time, both to be in endocrinology and also to start publishing new books, new editions of books, as the situation changes. Well, diabetes is, is, people refer to it now as an epidemic, and there's this huge increase in diabetes, which is related to obesity and our Western lifestyle. Uh, and we're starting to really understand the mechanisms of obesity. Um, and the book is going to, will have a lot of uh, information about uh, different aspects of obesity as well as type 2 diabetes and of course type 1 diabetes which is a major problem too. But, um, but there, there, there's really a lot happening with, with that aspect of diabetes and also with the uh, insulin producing cells, the beta cells in the pancreas and uh, what goes wrong with them. I think a lot of people have discussed whether or not there is going to be a future in book publishing, whether it has a function. <coughs> and I think in spite of all the changes and the uh, information revolution, a lot of doctors and clinicians particularly still like physically to have a copy of a book in their hands, they can walk around with it, they can open it at will. I think there is still quite a big future in paper publishing. Well, I might say that I just feel quite honored to be a part of the leadership of this book uh, because it's, a, it's been a, a wonderful book with now many editions. And it's really, in a way, the, the definitive book uh, on endocrinology. We have wonderful authors. <laughs>